protesters gathering in Ferguson tonight. That demonstration began in front of the Canfield Green Apartments where 18 year old Michael Brown was shot and killed by former officer Darren Wilson back in 2014. Those protesters then marched to the Ferguson Market, which is the view you're seeing right now from Bomberito Automotive Sky Fox. Uh, some of them are currently in front of the market. We hear that they may be heading to the Ferguson Police Department later this evening. So this all comes after St. Louis County Prosecutor Wesley Bell announced this afternoon that he had been re-examining this case. At the press conference this afternoon, Bell announced that he will not be filing charges against Darren Wilson. Yeah, the re-examination of the case was not made public until today. Fox 2's Jeff Bernthal is live in Clayton where Bell revealed his findings. Jeff? He held a news conference inside the courthouse and said this is all about the law. He said the decision has nothing to do with public pressure or public opinion. County Prosecutor Wesley Bell faced immediate criticism after announcing a five month long reinvestigation into the shooting death of Michael Brown will result in no charges against Darren Wilson. You lied, bro. We knocked them doors for you. It's over. This is your first and last time. The county prosecutor said his heart breaks for the parents of Michael Brown because he knows this was not the result they were looking for. This is one of the most difficult things I've had to do as an elected official. An attorney for Michael Brown's father released a statement soon after his client met with Bell to learn charges would not be filed. He did not leave there happy. Anything short of justice, Wilson being held criminally responsible, would be disappointing. During his news conference, Bell said Brown could still be alive if Wilson would have acted differently at several points along their interaction, but said his office could not prove beyond a reasonable doubt that Wilson committed murder or manslaughter. But by Missouri law, we would also have to prove any self, we would have to disprove any self-defense claims beyond a reasonable doubt. And we just could not get there with the evidence as it is. And, and there are times when we want a different outcome. There's a time when the community wants a good outcome, but we have to follow the law. I raised my right hand when I took this job. Um, I swore an oath to uphold those laws and that's what I'm gonna do, and that's what we did in this case. Some of the individuals who protested Wilson's actions hope to change Missouri's laws. We need to move from protest to policy, that the community advocates, uh, activists need to begin to, to look at the, the policies that Im impede justice. Now, Bell said his office uh, has already implemented a number of reforms and will continue to do so moving forward, including an independent unit that investigates uh, use of force by police. He said his office will also offer support to families affected by use of force by police. Reporting live from Clayton, Jeff Bernthal, Fox 2 News.